Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Data Grid widget on Job Form apps. This is a really useful way to display data in form of columns and rows. So you would see this data similar to Google Sheets or Excel. This way, it's pleasing to the eye to view the data. So let me show you how this is accomplished on Job Form apps right now. Okay, this is our job form dashboard. Let's get started by creating a brand new app. So let's head on over to the top menu. We're going to click on it and we're going to head on over to my apps. Okay, so this will open up our settings for job form apps. And in this case, we're going to start with a brand new app. So let's go ahead and click on create app. And in this case, we can start from scratch or use a template. For this demo purpose, we're going to use start from scratch. And there we go. This is our job form apps builder. So let's go into the add elements and we're going to go into the widgets tab. So let's click on it and we're going to use the data grid. So this is our data grid element right here. Let's go ahead and drag it inside of our app. And now it displays the data. This is demo data and we're going to replace this with data that we're going to actually use. So in this case, we can display, for example, a SAS plans data. So let's go ahead and click on the gear for settings and this is how it works for example we have the column name and they're separated by commas so we can see call one call two and call three and we're able to display it right here if we change these so for example let's name the first one features the next one will say it's the bronze plan silver and let's add a comma and add a brand new row so well, actually a column so that this one will be called gold and the next one will be called platinum. Okay, there we go. So we have the features and then we have the plans, which is bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. And what we're going to do with the next information is the data. Okay. So in this case, the rows we have displayed right here, each one of the rows in the data section is one of the rows that it's going to add. It's going to display up to 10. And if you add more than 10, we have this tab right here, the button to jump to the next rows. So, okay, let's replace this. So for example, this is the row for number one, which is the features. And in this case, we're going to replace it with, for example, forms. The second row, we're going to say custom branding. Okay. And let's add one more. We're going to say something that would be useful. For example, um, payment gateway. There we go. So we have the features tab right here. And then we're going to add what, what's, which one does include it and which one doesn't. So for example, the second row column is for the bronze plans. So for the bronze plan, we're going to say that forms we're going to say an amount it's going to allow 10 forms the next one is going to be 15 we're going to add a comma for the next one it's going to allow 15 50 and the platinum we're going to say unlimited okay so you kind of get the idea of how we can use the data grid the next one is the custom branding so in this case we'll say yes well the first one is the cheapest one we're just going to say that there we're going to say no comma again, we're going to say yes and yes. So these don't include it and these do. And the payment gateway, again, we're going to use the comma and payment gateway. We're going to say again, no, no, yes and yes. Now this is an example of how we're going to use it, but we can also use um, the emojis for this. For example, if we want to use an emoji as a check mark, well, those are available here and it displays a little bit nicer. So for example, if you want to say it does include it, well, we can use those. So it does include it. Example for this one that says yes, let's replace it also. Add it there and replace it there. Okay, so it looks a little bit nicer that way. And we can go ahead and add more rows to this and add more columns so we want to display more data. Now let's go see how it actually looks on the live app. So let's go into preview app. There we go. And here's the data that we have available. For example, we're able to view it in this way, but you can see it's a little bit um, smushed. So sometimes we recommend that you don't use that many 
columns. So we want we might want to reduce it or use shorter words so it doesn't take that much space. So let's go back into our preview mode. Let's go into settings and let's get rid of the last column for this. There we go. And on the top, we need to get rid of this column. Okay, so let's go ahead and test how this looks. We have this little comma there. Okay, let's go back into preview. Now there are some limitations right now with the builder that we have. Remember, apps is in beta mode right now. So, okay, it displays nicer this way with four columns and it's going to display. Remember, if we add more rows, over 10 rows, it's gonna go into the next page if we want to display it. Let's go back into the settings. There's also a setting to smush this a little bit more, which is shrink. We can go ahead and shrink it if we want to add two columns to this. And let me go ahead and test really quickly if we're able to view the column and smush. No. So four columns would be the best route as of now. And the next option that we have is the theme settings. So by default, this is what we're looking at. Let me go ahead and remove shrink. We have the default. We have the very, very, which looks pretty nice. If that's the colors that you want to use for your branding, there's also classic blue and colorful. So it's a little bit more colorful, gives a little bit more vibrance to the data grid. So this is what's available right now for the data grid, and that is how you use it. You have your column names separated by commas, and we have the data separated by commas and by rows. Well, that is how you use the data grid widget on JotForm apps. We thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on our next tutorials.